Radio played a very key role in the Liberation War of 1971. It was used to spread the speeches of uh, uh, the leaders of the freedom struggle. In fact, there were many Bangladeshis, uh, East Pakistanis at that time, who were inspired by the speeches of uh, Bongo Bandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. But radio also played a very key role in the naval guerrilla Operation X. And I'll tell you how. Because once the commandos, the naval commandos, were infiltrated from India into East Pakistan, what was then East Pakistan, the commanders had no way of communicating with the commandos on the ground. So they devised a very intelligent code mechanism to communicate with the commanders of uh, naval guerrilla squads. And they identified two key songs for this. Songs. The first was Amar Putul Aaj Ke Pratham Jabe Shashur Badi sung by Arti Mukherjee and another song by Pankaj Malik, Malik. Ami Tomai Jato Chuniye Shilem Gaan. These two songs were in fact coded messages for the naval commandos operating inside East Pakistan. When the first song was played, it was a signal to them that they had to move in closer towards their targets and that the attack, they had to carry out the attack in 48 hours. When the second song was played, it meant that the attack now was just 24 hours away, that they had to carry out this attack on the merchant ships within 24 hours. And this worked like clockwork because on the August 15th attack, which is known in Bangladesh as Operation Jackpot, where four ports were targeted simultaneously at the same time, that same night, four ports, Narayanganj, Chandpur, Chalna Mongla and Chittagong, all these four ports were attacked uh, they are hundreds of kilometers apart, but they were attacked at the same, same time by naval commandos that infiltrated from all sides. The coded signals were played 48 hours before the uh, attack and then 24 hours before the attack. So these signals were coded messages that told them when to strike. And for this, for uh, the purpose of listening to these signals, the task force commanders for each of these four attacks was given a radio transistor set. In fact, they were given two sets. The commander and his deputy carried one uh, transistor set and they had to listen to All India Radio two times a day, six o'clock in the morning and six o'clock in the evening. And they had to tune in and listen whether these songs were being played. And when the songs were played, that was a signal for them to go ahead. So this was a fantastic operation, again of a kind that you've not seen since the Second World War because it involved naval guerrilla operations and also this brilliant uh, stratagem of using All India Radio, India's public service broadcaster, as a, a method of transmitting coded signals to the Bengali freedom fighters.